Appearing before the Public Accounts Committee of Parliament were officials from Makere University Business School and the Uganda Lands Commission. The committee was explaining the audit report of the 2011-2012 financial year in which they found that the business school lost over 15 acres and has only 2.2 acres left. That the land was 15 acres okay. rather than what we found. It was later discovered that some of the land started being taken in 1998 and was divided among some top politicians like the first deputy prime minister, Henry Kajura. There was a one Augustine Karugaba, there was another Judge William Serunkuma, then there was Henry Muganyo Kajura, then there was also Alexander Okello. Those are the people who actually took the first share. So we want to investigate and get to that to allow the day access that. But when Makere Business School sought redress, it was resolved that the matter be settled out of court and the Lands Commission irregularly compensated the school. So they gave them in Chireka, is in a swamp and it has uh, squatters as well. So also wondering how they sorted for the land with, uh, in a swamp and with squatters. You choose to give it away for some other land that you've not seen. Or well, you are not even sure of its location. Does that sound normal? The committee has also questioned why it took a government institution like Makere Business School eight years to acquire land title. The MPs raise questions as to why there are serious loopholes and fraud when issuing land titles to other individuals and private organizations. Yeah. Eight years, Madam okay, Chair. we take notice. Eight years, Commissioner, eight years Madam to find Chair. it. The committee later ordered the officials of Macquarie University Business School and lands officials out, instructing them to produce accurate information as regards the fraud concerning the school's land issues. Maurice Achol, NTV at Parliament.